the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I know you're going through the fire. It's getting hard to stand the heat. For our good night message on this Monday, the 30th of January 2023, broadcasting from the Salesian community of the Sacred Heart in Lusaka, Zambia, by your servant Father Eustace Siame, a Salesian of Don Bosco. We listen to this encouraging message and indeed strengthening in the series When God Says No, entitled The Receiving End of No. How much pressure it can take How many times around the wheel Till their submission to this evening we conclude the series when God says no with the receiving end of no. Everyone loves the word no except when you are on the receiving end of it. It tends to mean a final say on something, an end, a no longer up for discussion, full stop. As a kid I loved saying it asserting myself and making my voice heard. And I see this happening in many of our children. They love saying no, no, no. That is a means to making their voice heard. As a teenager, I hated hearing it, feeling as though my life was over because it meant I wasn't allowed to do something I really wanted to do. And as an adult, however, have developed respect for the word that I loved to use as a child. No has a lot of power to it. It sets boundaries. It holds momentum. It can see your world come plummeting down around you. No is a powerful word. It has the ability to release or restrain something. So when God uses it, he doesn't do so lightly. When I was younger, there were times when I felt as though God was an old man up in heaven who just loved saying no. But as I have journeyed through life at 52, I've seen God's no to one thing mean his yes to something else, something better. There were those times that I found myself lamenting over an obedience, over a transfer, from a place I liked to a place that I didn't even know. And I thought God had said no to my ambitions, to my desires to do his will. But I found that that no was meaning a yes to something else that has led me to where I am today. It doesn't mean hearing him say no was easy. It's never easy. But I'm grateful for the times where he pulled me back, telling me no because what he had in store has always turned out better than the thing I wanted in the first place. And it could be the case with you as well. If you look back to the no's you have received in your life, you will realize that God had something else in store for you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night, as it dreams. Same to you, Father. When I just came through that fire Not too very long ago And looking back I can't see why And that my God was in control But on the hottest days I cried isn't it about time? But the potter knows the clay. How much pressure it can take. How many times around the wheel. Till there's submission to his will. 
The potter, he knows. 